Three steps to take revenge on a narcissist the best way possible. Can you tell me the best way to get even with a person who is overly self-absorbed, like a narcissist? Honestly, how feasible is that? And above everything else, resist the temptation to follow them back there. In order to deal with a narcissist, one should only stop talking to them. If you set your sights on improving yourself, that is exactly what will happen. OK, I get how you're feeling, but... Paradoxically, most people are lacking a really important factor. Because you are the only one who experiences the narcissist's intense abuse, your outbursts of anger or other negative emotions are completely justified. It's possible that no one else will understand why you're so upset with the narcissist. Feeling anger is a sign of a healthy, functioning nervous system. It's a source of motivation that, if used well, can speed up the healing process. However, irrational anger is morally repugnant. Let's go over the essential steps for handling a narcissist today. If you want to know more about this topic, subscribe to this channel and activate the bell to get notified whenever there is new content. If we ever add new videos, you'll be the first to know. Let's get back on track here. To what extent have you ever experienced anger at a narcissist? If so, how severe is your anger and what do you do when you need to cool down? Those who have been through similar events may find comfort in knowing they aren't alone. So if you have any experience, please share your stories in the comments section. First and foremost, you need to stop bottling up your anger. Most people try to hide their rage when dealing with narcissists or situations in which they feel obligated to take part. They shy away from it as if it were dangerous, oblivious to the reality that it's just another way that people might feel upset. The characteristics of the relationship reveal that this is a normal response to the narcissist's toxic maltreatment. Think back on the damage the narcissists caused you. You were lied to. They promised assistance, but provided no follow-through. They promise you a new, brighter tomorrow, but everything is a lie. When they began targeting you, they attempted mental breakdown by presenting you with a false identity. Narcissists are people who, in an effort to improve their own self-esteem, conspire to have you become a pale imitation of who you really are. In the end, you were treated like a piece of broken furniture and thrown away. A terrible state of affairs has developed. It hurts a lot to have to deal with all of this. This has a detrimental impact on a large number of people. The injured individual will likely suffer greatly as a result. Actually, that pretty much sums up your entire existence. It makes sense that you'd be outraged to the point of wanting to destroy them. Do not misinterpret me. I am not suggesting that you give in to temptation. To clarify, I mean to make sure that your anger is valid. Accepting your anger and being okay with it is the appropriate answer. There would be no use in not treating them the same way they treat you. Proof of your comprehension is required. So, acknowledge your anger as a starting point. Second, think about what the narcissist wants out of the connection. Narcissists seek to have you give up your sense of individuality and self. They oppose you having any control over your own life, setting any boundaries, or acting independently. Ultimately, they wanted you to feel worthless, degraded, and ashamed of yourself. That's why you were isolated all by yourself in there. A great deal of suffering resulted from this appalling treatment. That amnesia was on purpose to make you forget who you were. So that they could use you as a doormat, they wanted you to be submissive and obedient. You were the target of an attempt to hush you. Those controlling you were worried about what you would learn about yourself if given freedom of choice. That gave them a sense of control and superiority, as they were able to govern every facet of your existence. Because they lack it themselves, they didn't want you to have free will. You'll need that data in order to make the right moves. 
I assume you won't think twice about taking more action after you've gained such insight into your narcissist's idealized behavior modification strategies. Third, achieve victory against them. How? The narcissist pictured you just like this. So let me explain. Do the opposite of what narcissists want you to do. Why? Simply put, you can rise from the ashes like the mythological phoenix if you put in the work necessary to do so, just as that bird did. Narcissists abhor this quality in others. All the narcissist's efforts will be for naught if you put in the work to heal and safeguard yourself from future narcissistic relationships. Learning to say no, keeping and protecting your resources, and being your own person is their failure when it comes to rekindling relationships, since it tells them they no longer have control over you. Despite their pretensions, they actually have very little sway. They imagine themselves to be omniscient and omnipotent, but they are neither. The fact that you are taking charge of your life and making positive changes is the greatest disappointment for them. In light of your achievement, it's clear that you proved that narcissists are doomed to fail in their attempts to manipulate you. Narcissists expected you to self-destruct emotionally, but they were wrong. Narcissists find it quite upsetting when you don't share their level of pessimism. It never stops eating away at them. Their efforts, alas, bore no fruit. What a shame it is that they did such a shoddy job of it. To rephrase, I propose that you find healthy outlets for your anger. To move forward in your healing and growth, you must discover healthy outlets for your anger. Also, acknowledge your anger and use it to propel you ahead in your efforts to mend and move on. To sum up, if you want to get even with a narcissist, you need to focus your anger inward and use it to recover from the trauma you've endured because of your interactions with the narcissist and other terrible situations in your life. There was just no way to avoid experiencing that pain. There needs to be the same familiarity, closeness and authenticity that you feel when interacting with other people. Only by collaborative effort can one achieve the ideal atmosphere. You need to accept that you are furious and find a constructive way to channel that energy. You were feeling better at the time, therefore the advice was given then. Sadly, that's all I have time for in today's video. Please accept my apologies for the inconvenience. Please use the space below to share your thoughts with me. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and share it with your friends. If we can connect soon, I'll fill you in on the next big video. Have a good week until then.